Hi everyone! In this video, we will have higher order derivatives. So this is for basic calculus. So higher order derivatives. So higher order derivatives are just the derivatives of the first uh, derivative. So we have uh, the second derivative, the third derivative, and the nth derivative. So we can extend that to... Uh, n times. So uh, if we get the derivative of the function, that's the first derivative. If we get the derivative of uh, the first derivative, we will get the second derivative. If we will get the derivative of the second derivative, that will be the third derivative. If we will get the derivative of the third derivative, we will have the fourth derivative and so on. And uh, getting the derivative of the n minus one or uh, derivative, then you will get the nth derivative. So here are the notations. So we have uh, four different notations here for the first derivative, y prime, f prime of x, uh, d sub xy, and dy over dx. So if we have the second derivative, we will have this one, this, this, or this, and so on, okay? So f of x, the original function can be written as this one. So in here, in this part here. And then uh, uh, in uh, f n of x, n is the order of the derivative. So this is the derivative of the first order. This is the second order third order and nth order. So order one for the first derivative, order two for the second derivative. This is order three and this one here is of order n. Okay, let us have an example. Find the fourth derivative of f of x equals 3x raised to 4 minus x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7 minus 2. So you have to Still be familiar with the, the rules of differentiation here because we are applying them uh, uh, several times. So the first derivative is, what is the derivative of 3x raised to 4? That's 3 times 4x cubed. So that is 12x cubed. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, so minus 3x squared. The derivative of this is negative 4x. The derivative of 7x is positive 7. So if uh, you haven't ma mastered this, then you have to go back to the previous video of on the rules of differentiation uh, numbers 1 to 4 and uh, 5 to 8. So I also have uh, um, videos for that that uh, you can watch. Okay, so taking the derivative of this first derivative will give us the second derivative of the function. What is the derivative of 12x cubed? That's 12 times 3x squared, so that's 36x squared. The derivative of negative 3x squared is negative 6x. The derivative of negative 4x is negative 4, and the derivative of a constant is 0, so don't, no need to write. So here we get the second derivative of the function. If we get the derivative of the second derivative, we will get the, uh, we will have the third derivative. So the derivative of 36x squared is 36 times 2x, that is 72x. And this one, negative 6x, and for a uh, negative 6, and the de derivative of negative 4 is 0. So this one is the third derivative. But the question here is the fourth. So take the derivative of the third derivative. We will have derivative of 72x is 72, and the derivative of negative 6 is 0. So 72. So the, deriv the fourth derivative of this function is 72. Okay, let us have another example. Find the fourth derivative of f of x equals x raised to 6 plus 5x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed. So in the second example, you may already pause the video if you want to try it yourself and then check if your answers are correct. Okay, pause the video. Okay, for those who are ready, okay, let us answer. The first derivative is the derivative of uh, 6 of x raised to 6 is 6x raised to 5. So make the exponent the 
numerical coefficient and subtract 1 from the exponent. So subtract 1 from 6, you will get 5. And then for 5x raised to 4, that's 5 times 4x cubed, that's 20x cubed. And for 3x cubed, that's 3 times 3x squared, that's 9x squared. Taking the derivative of the first derivative will give us the second derivative, so that's 6 times 5x raised to 4, so that's 30x raised to 4. For this one, that's 20 times 3x squared, that's 60x squared, plus 9 times 2x, that's 18x. Take the derivative again, we will have the third derivative. Okay, so this one is uh, 30 times 4x cubed, so that's 120x cubed, plus 120x plus 18. And then, take the, again the derivative, so that's 120 times 3x squared, so that's 360x squared, plus 120 plus 0. So this is of order 4. So the fourth derivative is 360x squared plus 120. So did you get the correct answer? Okay, let's proceed to the next one. Find the second derivative of f of x equals x sine x. So here we have a product of x and sine x, so we need to apply the product rule. Okay, so the product rule states that you get the derivative of the first multiplied with the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So our first here is so the first one, the first part is x, and then the other one is sine x. What is the derivative of x? 1. And then copy sine x, multiply to 1, plus copy x, so that's x, times, what's the derivative of sine x? Cosine x. So we have sine x cosine x. I mean sine x plus x cosine x. Next, okay, since we are asked here for the second derivative, okay, let's take the derivative of this one. So here we have your two terms. One is sine x. The other one is a product of x and cosine x. So we can get the derivative of sine x directly. And this one here, we need to apply the product rule for x cosine x. So this will be the, our first and this will be our second. Okay, so what is the derivative of sine x? Cosine x. How about the derivative of this product? So first, take the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is 1 times cosine x plus x copy times the derivative of cosine x. What is the derivative of cosine x? That's negative sine x. And then simplify. We will have this one here is uh, cosine x plus cosine x. So 1 cosine x plus 1 cosine x is 2 cosine x. And then x times negative sine x is negative x sine x. So the second derivative of x sine x is 2 cosine x minus x sine x. So this one is of order 2. So we applied here the product rule twice. First in uh, this uh, one here if uh, in taking the first derivative and then the first derivative we can see is uh, one term ha is a product of x and cosine x so we apply again the product rule here okay next find the second derivative of f of x equals secant x Okay, so we have to memorize these uh, formulas. This is rule number seven in uh, uh, differentiation rules. So the derivative, the first derivative of secant x is here. The derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. Okay, and then for the second derivative, so since this is a product, product of secant x and tangent x, so apply the Product rule, derivative of secant first, 
secant x tangent x and then times tangent x so this tangent x is just you just copy okay you just copy that derivative of the first times the second plus the first copy times derivative of the second derivative of tangent x is secant squared x okay and then simplify here we have your tangent times tangent so that's tangent squared so that is secant x copy and this one will be tangent squared x plus secant x times secant squared x is secant cubed x okay so we applied here again the product rule Okay, how about this one? Find the second derivative of f of x equals 3 over x plus 1. So we have here a uh, quotient of 3 and x plus 1. So we need to apply the quotient rule. So first, take the derivative of the numerator. Derivative of 3 is 0 times the denominator minus numerator times the derivative of the denominator. What's the derivative of x plus 1? The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of 1 is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. Over the square of the denominator. Okay, so simplifying this, we have 0 times x plus 1 is 0. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And then x plus 1 quantity squared is x plus 1 times x plus 1. Or that is x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then we will get the derivative of this again. So this is still a quotient. So apply again the quotient rule. Okay. This time our numerator is negative 3. Our denominator is x squared plus 2x plus 1. So derivative of negative 3, 0. Because the derivative of a constant is 0. Times the denominator minus numerator, negative 3, times the derivative of the denominator. Derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of 2x is 2. So 2x plus 2. Derivative of 1 is 0. So no more here. And then over the square of the denominator. And then simplify. So we have here negative of negative 3. That's going to be positive 3 distributed to this one. So 6x plus 6 over x squared plus 2x plus 1 squared. So in this lesson, your uh, skills in finding the derivative of uh, functions uh, is just uh, enhanced because we are repeatedly applying here the differentiation rules. Okay, for your practice, answer the following items. So we have here four. Number one, find the third, third derivative of f of x equals 2x raised to 4 minus 2x raised to 5 plus x raised to 6. Number two, find the fourth derivative of f of x equals x raised to 5 minus 3x raised to 4. Number three, find the fourth derivative of f of x equals sine x. And number four, find the second derivative of f of x equals x squared e raised to x. So in number one and number two, you just find the derivatives. And then number three, you just find, uh, you just uh, apply the rules, the rule number seven. And then for uh, number four, ap apply the product rule. Okay, so if you're not done yet, uh, please uh, pause the video. So for those who are done, here are the answers. Okay, number one, that's uh, 48x minus 120x squared plus 120x cubed. Number four, and uh, number two, the fourth derivative is 120x minus 72. Number three, sine x. And number 4, 2e raised to x plus 4xe raised to x plus x squared e raised to x. Or if you want it written as, e, as a factored form, you can factor e raised to x because that's the common factor of 
the three terms. So here are the answers. If you uh, uh, are done, then uh, check your uh, answers. And then uh, if you got the score of four, very good. If not four, then you need to practice more or you need to watch again the videos. Don't forget to uh, watch also the videos on rules of differentiation uh, 1 to 4 and 5 to 8 uh, so that uh, you can uh, catch up with uh, this lesson. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much and goodbye!